presented by Beaver County Auto. It is the Bucko Show through Pittsburgh Sports Live. I am Noah Hiles. He is Alan Saunders. And Alan, we're going to talk about one of the few problems this 10-6 and Pittsburgh Pirates team has right now, and that is the 7th and 8th inning, mainly Rich Rodriguez and Keone Kella, their struggles to uh, keep the ball in the yard and keep a zero on the score sheet when they are on the hill. What do you see going wrong between these two players? Well, let's talk about I think it's two separate issues, and okay. I think the biggest problem is Kella because, I mean, let's – Rodriguez has some issues, and we'll talk about what they are, but if you look at his career, last season was an obvious outlier, and I think it was clear that the Pirates, you know, had lined up Vasquez, Crick, Kella to be the, the, the important part of their bullpen. Seven, eight, nine. If your sixth inning guy isn't having a great year, first of all, that's not a huge issue. And second of all, not totally unexpected for Rodriguez to regress. Yeah, regress a little bit. And look, I think he'll be better than he's been and probably somewhere in between where he's been and where he was last year by the end of the season. But I think the thing about Kella is his trade at the end of last season was to me um, the most insightful thing about what the Pirates plans were because they went out and paid um, a real prospect yeah. to Taylor Hearn. to get that bullpen six seven eight nine where starting pitchers listen five. five innings we need you beyond that as a luxury and I think that allowed their starting pitchers to approach the game with a more strikeout focused arsenal I think you've seen Joe Musgrove go to the slider more Jamison Tyone out of the slider I think you've seen Chris Archer uh, very obviously going out there attempting to strike out every batter he faces and he's okay with 90 pitches after five innings because they went out to get this bullpen and Kella was the expensive part of that bullpen not that Andrew McCutcheon for Kyle Crick wasn't expensive yeah. but he was the, the the cherry on top, the piece that was supposed to make this bullpen one of the best in majors, and he's been the worst guy in it. And that, you know, it's it's relievers. We talked about it before the season. Relievers are volatile, but he's been very good throughout his career. There's not been, you know, these huge swings that you see from some other relievers. Very surprising to me to see him struggling at this point of the year. He has been a slow starter in, in times. But not like this, and not in such an important role uh, to his team, which has really been, I mean, the Pirates record right now, 10-6, and six, if Keona Kella was pitching like Keona Kella, just a one guy. They'd be the best team in the National League. Easily 13-3, and three. easily. Is so, a guy who, he has struggled. 2016, he had an ERA over six, uh, but then you look, he was really young back then. He learned how to adjust. 2017, 2018 put together two really solid seasons, and that's why the Pirates were interested in him, and that's why they brought him back. He's shown the mental toughness, both in the regular season and in the postseason as a member of the Rangers. Uh, you know, he's been through it all. He's been in the major leagues for a while, came up, I believe, at only 20 years old. So he is battle-tested. He knows that this is a 162-game season, and there's going to be highs, there's going to be lows. He struggled in the opening months before. So I do believe that he has the easier road back as far as the mental task of it. However, the Pirates have a bigger problem in Kella than they do in Rich Rod. If one of them, if both of them were to continue their struggles, Rich Rod, like, as I said, easier replaced. This Kella guy, he's pretty important. If you take him away from the bullpen, this pitching staff as a whole goes from an A to an A minus and that's something that the Pirates cannot afford because even with the return of some of the guys they're getting off the DL to improve their offense this is a team clearly built around what's going to be done on the mound and I think the two problems compound right yeah. because if you go into the season and you think well what happens if a reliever struggles or gets injured well you just move everybody down a spot right so you know Kella eighth inning guy struggles okay Crick Crick's pitched fantastic all right well, we'll give him the eighth inning then we'll give Rodriguez this oh wait, wait we can't do that because 30 he's a rookie he's struggling too right and so well that's when you know then Crick is on the injured list and and that's when things really fell apart and I think the bullpen cost the Pirates a couple games in there because they just didn't have enough guys that they felt comfortable with at that very moment to put out there in a high leverage situation. And, and you see it affect the starting rotation too. Now they're not as confident. They need to go a little bit deeper. They're starting to force things and they're not pitching the way they want to pitch. And you see it affecting other guys in the bullpen like Vasquez having to go throw 30 plus pitches and back to back outing stuff like that. 
give multiple inning saves. It takes a toll on everyone when there's a couple key guys who you have expectations for not filling, you know, those roles. Yep, and I think with Rodriguez, the big thing is keeping the ball in the yard. I think something ridiculous like 80% of the hits he's given up have been home runs. Batting average against is still like under 200. Yeah, they're just all homers. And um, that's one of those things that sometimes you can just look at them and say like, oh, well, that's a good hitter. This was a bad pitch. I think to me it comes back to confidence with him. He doesn't have overpowering stuff. He's got to be confident in his in his location, confident in his breaking ball, that he can get them to where they need to be. I'm not sure he was feeling that earlier in the year. Had a good last outing. Maybe he'll be able to build off that and get things going here. If he can, with Crick back healthy, I think the team would be in a lot better position to go with Kel- without Kella at his best for an extended period of time if it takes that for him to come back. Yeah, Rodriguez and Kella combined, seven home runs allowed. The Pirates starting rotation as a whole, seven home runs allowed. So that should be enough that you understand the problem here. But I think, yeah, I think they do get it together. It'll be interesting to see. Um, any other thoughts on the bullpen as a whole? You got to like what you see from Birdie. You know, uh, Crick coming back. Vasquez looking like himself already in midseason form. I think if one of these two guys who are struggling right now can get back to themselves, this rotation, first inning through ninth inning, is going to be pretty darn difficult to put a run up on the board against. I mean, you look at the numbers, even with the struggles, I think the Pirates have one of the top ten bullpen ERAs in all of baseball. Yeah. Even with two back-end guys with a 9, 10, something like that ERAs. Um, so, on the whole, they've been really good, even with the struggles of those two guys. If you get those two guys pitching better, they easily could be one of the best bullpens in baseball, in addition to one of the best starting rotations in baseball. That's a pretty formidable combination. Um, it's tough. Bullpens are strange and transient you get one guy going another guy goes i worry about vasquez's usage Mm -hmm. and if that's going to take a toll throughout the course of the season i don't think he can pitch as often as he's pitched so far and be healthy and be effective throughout 162 game season um but those are the kind of problems that you you cross uh, when you get to him and i i really like nick kingham out of the bullpen he's a pitcher that i was really unsure where his major league future lie during this offseason I didn't think he was going to be good enough to be the Pirates' fifth starter. He doesn't have an option. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of in that what do you do with him land. Uh, but I think he's pitched really well, the bullpen. And I think I, I don't see any reason why he couldn't have a successful career there. You know, it, he's got good stuff, high-velocity fastball. You know, everything you're looking for out of a relief pitcher, really. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I, I think that uh, last year we saw them try to – have Brault make that transition, and he struggled a little bit with it, but I think Kingham has you know, hit the ground running coming out, and he's comfortable coming in to make the long inning relief appearances, and he's come in in the late innings. He got a save the other day, so you got to like what you see from him. The team as a whole, 10-6 and six moving forward, uh, one of the best winning percentages in the National League, and uh, it'll be exciting to see how things play out uh, in the rest of the many games that we have Maybe on the schedule. All right, so for Alan Saunders, I'm Noah Hiles. Big thanks to our sponsor, Beaver County Auto, for presenting this production from Pittsburgh Sports Live. This was The Bucko Show.